Welcome back to another feature series video. Today, we're gonna to be showing off biomechanics powered by 3Motion AI. Uh, today, we have Elena here to hit for us, and what you're gonna see is you can put yourself in a live recorded hitting session where you will take swings and you're going to get auto replay of those swings. What's great is you're going to be able to use those hits and continue as you would typically with a session and the coach will be able to upload specific swings to the cloud platform that will be uh, uh, analyzed and sent back down to your computer within about 30 seconds. So we'll see that now we've got my colleague Elena gonna step up and take a couple swings. Let's see what you got. You see you got a nice big view here. There's a good cut and down on the right side you're gonna be able to see there are different feedback mechanisms. You can have the spray chart. You can go back to the ball flight like you would typically see in hit tracks. You can also look at the point of impact or the strike zone. Okay, get one more good one here. It's a good take. Nice cut right there. All right, foul ball, that's okay. On the top right corner, you're actually seeing the data of the specific hit as well. So the idea here is we're pairing pre-contact information with post-contact information. So you see on the top right, you have the exit velocity, the launch angle, the distance, and immediately we can pick one of our favorite swings there. Let's take uh, this third or fourth to last one, 64 miles an hour, and we hit that blue arrow. What you're gonna do here, that's just selecting the video, sorry, we're gonna hit right on the blue arrow, and we are going to pick the specific point of impact. You'll see this frame by frame. If it's not exactly where you want it to be, you can adjust that and hit confirm. As soon as you hit confirm, you'll see next to that hit a loading circle. And once that is complete, the video will, be, uh, will have been sent up and down and ready to look at. So we actually have a few that have already been uploaded. Right here, a nice hit, 68 miles an hour at 19 degrees. We're gonna hit the green arrow on that one. And that's gonna pull up this hit. So we can see Elena, we can let it play through, or we can drag through and see on the right side, the pelvis, shoulders, and front arms, and the degrees per second of rotation for each part of her body. And we can see the peak and the sequence of the peak. So her pelvis triggered first, which is number one, shoulder second, front arm third. And for those of you familiar with biomechanics, you can get this graph right here to see that sequence and actually see the separation um, of those velocities. Okay, there's a drop down tab right up here. From sequencing, you'll see seven categories that you can go through. We can take a look at the shoulder versus the pelvis and see ultimately the X factor and how many degrees of separation she had at heel strike and at point of impact. We can take a look at the balance, which is going to show the horizontal movement of her center of mass and, uh, and pelvis sway. Again, from uh, going from load to heel strike, you will probably see some, uh, some horizontal movement towards the pitcher there. Hopefully from heel strike to point of impact, those items will be pretty close to being the same. You'll actually see some negative rotation uh, because of the pelvis pulling back, but ultimately the center of mass and the pelvis should be pretty darn close there. Then we take a look at the head movement, one of my favorite uh, spots as a coach to show a player how much is your head moving uh, when you uh, strike the ground with heel strike to point of impact. Because again, you'll have that natural movement, but as soon as that foot hits the ground, we want that pretty much to become purely rotational. So we see Elena's head right there at heel strike and we can go to point of impact and we see it drop down just a little bit. That could be due to the nature of the pitch location. Ultimately, it looks like it's only about an inch. So it's a pretty good job from heel strike to point of impact of keeping her head steady through the ball. Okay, we have the torso. The torso will show you the bend of the upper body. Ultimately, at heel strike, this, uh, the player will have some forward bend as they lean in. As they start to rotate, that forward bend should translate to side bend. So again, if we take our little triggers here, 
heel strike and point of impact, you'll start to see that side bend trigger back over here. And if we look at the numbers, at heel strike, her forward bend is 32 degrees. And at point of impact, the number will actually be negative as they're tilting backwards. Her side bend is negative 30, so pretty darn close. Uh, what, what might stick out here is showing a player uh, rotating and coming up. That's when this may be a little bit more vertical uh, or tilting too far down again, depending on pitch location. The stride is going to show uh, what we're capturing with the feet. Again, we can take a look at stride length. Elena doesn't really stride too far here. If you actually look, you can see on the video and with the numbers, when her foot hits, her stride length is actually only about uh, an inch or so. I think that might extend a little bit out. But what we do see is she strides from an open stance and closes off just a little bit. And the markers over here are going to show the feet at the starting point. And you see that left foot move <laughs> towards essentially the camera here, closing off her swing just a little bit. You'll also get the degree of rotation of the front foot and a few other items as well. Lower half, this is going to show you the bend uh, of the front leg and the rear leg. Ultimately here at impact, most players want to have, or just after impact, most players want to have uh, a, a firm front leg to, you know, push that energy off of. So you can take a look at that as well with some great charts to uh, help visualize the data that you're looking at. Lastly, this is all captured. I'm going to go back to sequencing so we can get our front arm highlighted there. We can take a look at this stick figure overlay and we can look at this from any angle. So we have a, uh, a joystick that will toggle around whichever perspective you want to look at or we have some preset views. We can reset and take a look at the top view, for example, bird's eye view, looking down at Elena's swing, and we can go back and see exactly what's happening here. Here's stride, and we see at rotation. You can see here she does a great job of getting her hands inside of the ball. This might expose something like casting the hands, giving you a 3D perspective from one camera view, again, within about 30 to 60 seconds of uploading that video. So there's a lot more to this. Hopefully that's a good intro uh, and you will see this on your software here and, uh, and have a chance to explore that. If you have questions about it, please feel free and call us. And we hope uh, you enjoy checking out Biomechanics powered by 3Motion AI.